be when we we one don't lie to ourselves that we're colorblind because I think that's impossible. Um, but we we acknowledge that we're different and do and we do not use those differences to be a way we should judge people. So um, I can acknowledge that yes, I am from a I have I'm from a different ethnic group as someone, but I don't judge them based on the ethnicity. And I don't make presumptions about who they are, what they're going to do, what they may be based on their color. But I do recognize that we have color, and I think for me that would be the beginning of racial justice. Um, and I think racial justice would also, for me, involve um, situations in which we don't. A lot of things such as class um, difference and things like that in many parts of the world are not tied to race. Um, yes, due to history, that is that is a difficult thing to sort of try to erase. But I think we can try to work towards um, erasing that so that race does not become something that determines the class you're born into or the, the things that society sort of may allow you to do. Um, so just basically trying hard not to make race the most important factor in deciding what a person can be and what a person is in society. That would be racial justice for me.